Hello, my name is Willie Fritz. I'm the head football coach at the University of Central Missouri. I want to thank American F uh, Football Monthly for inviting me here to visit with you about special teams play. We call it the University of Central Missouri, the Special Forces in honor of our military. And the phase that I'm going to visit with you about uh, today is the punt team. I feel like it's the most important phase in the kicking game. We've all seen how games have turned around very quickly uh, with the block punt. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, drills, schemes. We're going to talk about techniques, uh, stance, alignment, keys. And we'll show you some game footage as well, some practice footage uh, that we use it also. I also want to make sure that I give credit to Shane Meyer. Shane Meyer is my a former uh, kicker for me my first two years at Central Missouri back in 97 and 98. He was an All-American kicker, also an academic All-American, and he helped me uh, do all these tapes, and I want to make sure that I thank Shane. I, I use acronyms quite a bit, and the acronym that we use for our punt team is PSP, Protect, Sprint, and Punish. I think there are three distinct phases with the punt team, no matter what scheme that you use, and we'll talk about all three of these schemes here this afternoon. This unit is arguably the most important. We talked about that. I just, I've seen so many games turn on a block punt. Its impact on field position alone is greater than any other unit in the kicking game. You're not having 40 yard potential, 40, 50 yard plays on offense every single play. You know, you'd like to have that, but most of the, sometimes plays are designed to only gain one or two yards depending on the particular scheme. But in the punt team, you've got an opportunity to change field position 40 plus yards if you have a good punter every time that you punt. So very, very important. Uh, due to the importance of this unit, we will work on this relentlessly. We spend more time on this unit than any other phase in the kicking game. Uh, success starts with the correct selection of personnel. Earlier, I uh, done a tape uh, that talks about special teams basics of overall philosophy of the kicking game and uh, everything that you want to know in the kicking game. And part of that, I talked about selection of personnel to get specific with the punt team. Obviously, you want uh, dependable guys who can run and hit. I'm going to talk to you about the spread punt. And uh, we'll also talk a little bit about tight punt. Hopefully, it's something that you can utilize. Uh, the selection of personnel, the snapper, we need a guy who can get the ball back there accurately first and foremost, and second, he needs to get it back there with speed. This is something that you can develop. Uh, the, the toughest thing about this uh, uh, scheme that we're going to use is your center has got to be involved with protection. But I have the best snapper that I've ever had, had never snapped before in his life, prior to the spring of his senior year in college and did just a fantastic job with us. Actually got an NFL tryout uh, because he was a good snapper and also uh, played well on defense for us. So you've got to find a guy who can snap the ball back there accurately and with speed. We'll talk about times here in a moment. But one thing I can't stress to you enough, if you get one thing out of this tape, it should be that tomorrow when I go up to school, I'm going to give my snapper a football, and he's going to work on snapping year-round just like my quarterback throws the ball year-round and, and is in 